Yeah, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison between Kubuntu 21.10, the latest release on the left, and Kubuntu 22.04, the upcoming beta release on the right. So it should be available by the end of this month, March, at the time of recording here. Now, starting off, uh, they are both based off Ubuntu, as the name would certainly suggest there. Uh, the desktop environment is the, the KDE Plasma desktop environment, which of course is where the K comes from here. And there is not much uh, of a difference between the two, I've got to say there. Uh, we can see some slight differences in icon placements and things like that. Uh, they've cleaned up the, the little bottom section here. All these uh, options, including places, is all just sort of crammed together. Although it's certainly uh, separated a bit and therefore a bit more cleaned up there, which is nice to see. Mostly the same apps, but uh, various uh, versioning updates. For example, LibreOffice, a slightly newer version there. If we were to maybe go to the desktop itself, right click for the context menu and see that this is basically the, sh the same. We've got this uh, K runner option here, but uh, yeah, not on the new section there, but otherwise mostly uh, kosher there. If we are to say go to the, the file manager here, we will see the, uh, the Dolphin file manager here, which is really... Uh, I guess in lockstep with any version of Kubuntu there. Now this is really much the same there as well. Nothing to really write home about there. I suppose I can look for the about menu if I can find it. But uh, you know we're just going to see a slight variant update here. So if I can get there, tools, have I missed it? Wasting time and video, there we go. Version 21.08, version 21. Point twelve, so slightly different there. Let's have a little bit of a look under the hood there as well, guys. So if we were to say go to the terminal and we'll uh, pop open NeoFetch and see what's going down. So as you can see, Kubuntu twenty one point ten, and then we've got the latest release. Doesn't have the version in, but it is a jammy, jammy jellyfish, I suppose would be the pronunciation there. Version twenty two point zero four. One thing to mention is uh, Kubuntu twenty two point zero four is a long term service release, so it is supported for about five to ten years, depending. On on how you want to count it. General updates for five years, uh, security updates for uh, another five years on top of that. Kernel is certainly updated there as well to support all of your latest hardware. So we've got the 5.13 kernel on the left and the 5.15 kernel on the right. We can see Plasma, the uh, what I've just been talking about there before, the Plasma desktop environment there. Slight version and update from 5.22 to 5.24. So that's uh, just all numbers really at this point that I'm quoting. And last but not least, having a little bit of a look at the, the CPU and seeing what's going down here. So on boot up, nothing else is booted in the background. Got about 550 megabytes of RAM on boot up there, which is pretty good. Kubuntu has certainly uh, come a long way in terms of making for a smaller operating system there, so you can pop it on an old netbook perhaps. And on the right hand side, maybe it's not fully optimized yet. You can bet your bottom dollar, I'll do a follow up video about this sooner or later, but uh, 600 megabytes of RAM on boot up, so about 50 megabytes more on boot up there. So you could almost say much for muchness, but uh, I guess in truth that is about 10% more, isn't it? So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.